my channel it's your girl princess and i'm back again with another video so this may be the first time you're seeing me without makeup in my videos but that's because i'm in the kitchen and i just got off work and i wanted to make something but i wanted you guys to like cook with me this isn't going to be as much of like a how-to or a tutorial on how to make the food that i'm about to make but this is you know maybe just a chit chat or I don't know i just want you guys to watch me cook like i know i like to watch other people cook so if that's something you're interested in um stay tuned for this video um if you are not subscribed yet go ahead and do so if you are thank you um but welcome to my channel so i kind of have an idea of like what i want to make um i do have chicken here i have like chicken drumsticks here that i want to make um and i also have some sauces i bought this this is the caribbean jerk um, sauce from I don't know it's just a generic Caribbean jerk sauce I've never bought it before but I wanted to try something new I usually buy the um, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce and I make like barbecue chicken but I wanted to switch it up a little and do half barbecue chicken and do half um, jerk chicken for all the Jamaicans out there do not come for me I'm not making jerk chicken I'm making baked chicken with jerk sauce period <laughs> do not come for me all right so First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just like wash my hands and then I'm gonna grab my seasonings and I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna take the chicken out of the pack and just put it in a, like a pot cause that's how like I start to season my food. So I'm gonna put it in a pot and then I'm gonna season it. I'm obviously gonna show you guys the seasonings that I use but um, yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> All right, so my hands are nice and clean. So I'm gonna grab my seasonings now. So I got all the seasonings here. There's two, four, there's six seasonings. I don't really consider pepper seasoning, so like maybe five, but yeah. I'm a college student and the materials I have to cook are very limited, even though I do live in an apartment. Um, yeah, like this is my first time living in an apartment, like low key on my own, but like with the roommates. So I don't have everything, but I make it work. So I'm gonna grab the largest pot that I have and I'm gonna put the chicken in it and I do wash my chicken if you don't wash your chicken like you can just click out of this video because like what are we doing what are we doing where are we going <laughs> all right so I'm gonna wash my chicken I'm gonna dry it and then I'm gonna make sure that I get the seasonings on there Take a spoon and empty some black pepper in there. Not too much, but enough, I guess. And just like sprinkle it over the chicken. And I'm definitely gonna be adding more. Like I, I'm like a gradual cooker, so like or a gradual seasoner, I should say. Like I just keep going in and adding more seasoning. Um, over time and then I'm gonna go in with some nutmeg don't ask me why I use nutmeg I just seen my mom use it and it tastes good and that's all you got to know I'm gonna go in with some nutmeg just a little bit sprinkle that over the chicken and if it looks like it's a lot of seasoning that's good I feel like with like the chicken when you put it in the oven, it kind of loses like a lot of the seasoning because like there's still water, um, like the chicken still has some water content within it. So it's totally fine if it looks like it's too much seasoning. All right, the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this rotisserie chicken seasoning that you can get from basically any like, I don't know, we get it from a, I don't wanna say a corner store, but it's like a Hispanic store. Um, in our town so yeah I'm gonna go in with a little bit 
aka a good bit <laughs> um just to start off i don't put too much because like i like stir the um chicken and then season it on the other side too okay so the next thing i'm gonna go in with is this chicken flavor um bouillon i've never had to say this word ever before i low-key don't even i low-key don't even measure i just eye everything all right it's good and then i'm gonna go in with some garlic powder just sprinkle a little bit on the top Just like that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with some pepper flakes. If you know anything about me, you know that I love, 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 love spice. Like my food has to be spicy or I will not eat it. I put hot sauce on almost everything and yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the chicken with my hands. Yes, with my hands. If you don't get down and dirty in the kitchen, your food will not taste good, period. All right. So I'm going to start off with a spoon. And then I'm going to transition to my hands. And like, obviously, you got to wash your hands. I've washed my hands, like, what, three times already? So, yeah. So we're going to do our black pepper again. Just like that. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more nutmeg. Like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the rotisserie chicken seasoning once again. Garlic powder again. Like I said before, I know it looks like a lot of seasoning, but that's a good thing. Like obviously you don't want your food to be salty from all the seasoning, but like, I'm telling you, like, you gotta season your food. Go in, some more black, some more pepper flakes. I'm like running out. I don't know if I want to let this chicken sit and marinate. I don't usually do that, but it still turns out good. But, don't know. If you're Hispanic, you love me right now. If you're not Hispanic and you're African or you're Liberian, your mom uses this. Sazon Goya, period. All right, so I'm gonna go in with one pack. Sprinkle that on top. It gives it a nice like orange color but it also seasons it. You don't want to put too much at first. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna add some more sazon. Split them up by like you know, I just split them up by how I wanted to season them. So the chicken that's on this side is going to get the jerk seasoning. And then the chicken that's on this side is going to get the barbecue because I want to do half and half. Don't judge me if you're Jamaican because I'm not making jerk chicken. I'm making chicken with jerk sauce, period. Right? <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit at a time. And go ahead and just stir it with a spoon. It smells really good, not gonna lie. The rest of the um, drumsticks, which I'm gonna use the barbecue sauce for, I'm just gonna open that up a little bit on. And I'm just gonna stir that up. Like once I use my hands once to season it in the beginning, I don't really go into use my hands after to season it. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just what I feel. So 
so good. My chicken is like marinating. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the baking pans that I use for the chicken. Just so, just so like right after they're done marinating, I can just put them in the pans and pop them in the oven. My two pans, I'm just gonna rinse them and like dry them out. And then what I do is I like to put some oil on the bottom of the pan so the chicken doesn't stick. And then I'll put the chicken in, put some more sauce on top of the chicken, put a little bit more seasoning <laughs> on top of the chicken, and then put it in the oven. So it's a lot of seasoning, it's a lot going on, but this is what I do and it tastes good. Last bit of my olive oil or this is safflower oil never heard of that okay i'm gonna be using the last bit of my oil just gonna take a little bit and drizzle it into the pan just like that and then what i'm gonna do next is just swirl the pan around to make sure everything is coated pants i was gonna use is actually like it actually has a hole in it so i'm gonna try to use this baking sheet hopefully it doesn't spill over like when it's baking but it's what I gotta do. I'm gonna oil that up. I just decided that I also want to make some rice. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna make some rice also. <laughs> All right, so this is how the barbecue chicken is gonna go in the oven. As you can see, I just put the chicken in there and I put the sauce. I put a little bit more sauce on there and then a little bit more seasoning. I'm gonna let it bake for a little while and then I'm gonna take it out, put some more um, barbecue sauce and do the same thing with the jerk chicken, with the, not the jerk chicken, the chicken with the jerk sauce cause that was not jerk sauce. That was not real jerk sauce, sorry. Um, and then I had to use like this, um, this is like a cookie sheet kind of tray thing, whatever. I don't know how to describe it, but like this is what I'm putting the um, chicken on with the jerk sauce. I'm gonna use the same pot I used for the chicken. I just washed it clean. I'm gonna put some water in it and let it come to a boil. Um, put some salt in the water so it boils, boils faster. Um, so yeah. Go ahead and add some oil into the water. Um, that's just how I've watched my mom cook like when she makes rice and stuff, so. That's what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna taste good. <laughs> I also threw a sweet potato into the oven as well because I had one sweet potato left and I had to do something with it, so I did. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I let the rice come to a boil and most of the water's already gone. It's just like finishing up right now. Um, what I did was I just boiled the water, washed the rice, um, put the rice in but within the water there was seasoning and some oil because that's how my mom makes rice and that's how I know to make rice so yeah so it's just seasoned rice but like in a while I'm gonna add I'm gonna open up these cans of um, corn and carrots and I'm gonna put it in you don't want to put it in too early or it's gonna be way too soft all right y'all so I just took the chicken out of the oven this is the jerk the chicken with the jerk um, seasoning on it and then that is the I don't know if you guys can see it hold on and then that's the barbecue chicken what I did was I put more barbecue sauce on it and I'm gonna put it back into the oven for the most part it's done um, I just added some carrots and I added some um, corn as well and some seasoning in there and that's pretty much it um, so yeah <laughs> So this is the final form. You got your sweet potato, baked sweet potato, your barbecue chicken, and um, jerk chicken. Well, chicken with jerk sauce. And some seasoned rice. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. If